Hey everybody, this is your president, the Presidential Tourist, back with another video. I'm currently in Winter Haven, Florida, at the South Lake Howard Nature Park. Uh, it's one of the parks that's been on my list I've been wanting to visit and um, check it out, see what part of nature we get to see, get to be in the sun. And it's a beautiful day, kind of warm but not too bad, it's a little bit breezy. And uh, what's also good about this is they have like uh, different nature trails and they're like most of them all paved, which is good. So if you're unsteady on your feet, or you have, want to bring someone to you that uses a, like a walker or a wheelchair, this is the park you want to, want to go to. And it's uh, not too busy. I checked out coming here before, uh, a little bit before they did the, uh, the lockdown and everything with the stay at home order. This place was packed. That was hardly any um, cars here. And, and, and oh, and today's Mother's Day, so it's uh, May the 10th. That might be why. I think, it, I think the park goes over there too. There's some little bridges there and it looks like little trails there, but I'll mainly be staying this side of the road. So here it is. Okay. It says a beautiful day. Look at that. Look at that beautiful water over there. But I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Let's get going. They have three trails here. A one mile, which this is part of the one mile. And this is one this is part of the half mile. Then they have a quarter mile loop. Because I'm assuming that's the quarter mile loop over there. I've already seen a lot of birds. They have different picnic tables and things here. And they have a very important part. The bathroom right there. Of course, poopy bags. I'd say there's some good nature trail signs. Give you information about like the local plants. And the local, local ecosystem and all that. Which is always very helpful. And I always like reading these things. They're very interesting. Because you always got to be careful of alligators. Look how beautiful this place looks. So we're in the, this is part of, like I said, the mile and the half mile loop. Don't know how far we'll go. Here's nine steps to Florida Friendly. Okay, let's get going. I'm excited. I want to show these trees. I've seen these here in Florida before. I don't know what they're called, but I think they're so cool. Look at that, those thicker bases. Isn't that nice? A whole bunch of them here in this section. And of course, I already see some pretty blue, uh, purple flowers. So, lots of nice green. Hoping I can show you guys an alligator today. We'll see. You might see them, you might not, but of course I won't get too close. Alright. Onward and upward. Now tell me everyone. Now they put these here for people to exercise on. Does anyone really use these things? I've never really seen anyone ever use these things and they put them in like different city parks and state parks they put this where you could exercise on. I don't know. I never seen anyone using it. You gotta be extra careful what you touch now with this coronavirus going around. I think I see another exercise scene down there. So far there's a few people on a bike and it looks like someone's come up behind us uh, with a dog. Not too many people here today. Okay. Well, I got some nice uh, looking benches around here. And I didn't realize, but there's train tracks right behind here. I'm not going to go up to it because I don't think it'll be that easy to get to go through all that brush. And I'm already out of breath because I haven't exercised in quite a while. Probably there's some nice water going through here, I bet. But there hasn't been that much rain lately. A little bit more, but not too much. Not enough to fill this up, so there's probably usually water here. That's why it's like this. Yeah. I don't know about you, every time I see a train track, I always wonder, you know, where is it going, where is it going, where is it headed to? How many stories that train track has to tell? And you gotta think about all the effort to put to put that there. I think one time it was a beehive activity right here. The workers were putting it all together. Who were they? What were they talking about? I always wonder about things like that. Okay. Boy, it's good to get out, but... I gotta say, I'm already bushed. I haven't went too far yet. It's been so long since I really got any quality exercise in. I've been staying home a lot. 
haven't been moving around as much. I'm happy to finally get out here and do this. Like I said, I've never been to this nature park. So I'm not sure what to expect. I'm getting a little dark room. There you go, you can see me better. It looks pretty, very pretty. Okay. That old tree, imagine how many stories that tree has to tell. That's a big old tree, it's probably over 100 years old. You tell that's the original one. Now you can tell this one definitely gets used. Reminds me like jungle gyms I used to have when I was a kid. A couple different birdhouses I've seen. Very peaceful, guys. I'm happy to take you on this walk with me. How much do you want to guarantee there's alligators in there? Probably turtles, too. They're all over the place. If you see any, I'll let you know. And there's part of the path. That's probably the part of the shorter one. But then it keeps going down there, so it's a little bit bigger than I anticipated. That's okay, it's just great to be out. I think over there, everyone, you cross the street. Remember I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I thought this park went across the street. Well, yeah, the path leads over to there. You want to say something? You want to say Happy Mother's Day or anything? Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Yeah, it's kind of nice being out. You feel like a human being. So, yeah, it's nice. I'll get out in the parks. There's not too many people. And... Like I said, happy Mother's Day. Okay. Ta-ta. All right, let's get going, everyone. Check out this place more. Okay, there it is. There's the other half, I think. Actually, I was thinking this looks familiar, right? I think I drove by here once. I think I remember seeing that section over here. So I think this park, yeah. This is a separate section from what I see when I pulled up and I showed you with the sign back there. Begin this video. I show that one section of the park here. Well, this here is a totally different section of it. And I think I drove by here and um, stopped once and thought about uh, walking around here, but I didn't have a chance. I think. Yeah. And there's the um, train tracks. That's cool. Okay. The mayor was trying to find this again on the map, but I couldn't find it, so it was part of this park. So one time I have to check over there. I don't think I'm going to go over there now. I'm going to start heading back, because I'm already bushed. Okay, let's get going. Going to be doing some boardwalk walking. That weird fungus or mushroom there. Sorry I'm not as chirpy today. I'm actually quite tired. I haven't been sleeping that well lately. Perhaps I haven't spent too much time at home. I'm not going to show you the whole park today. Basically just give you an idea what some of it looks like. I gotta make it to some of the other sections where you actually uh, have to cross the road to get to. But this is enough for now. Actually takes me back to the parking lot. Mainly I've seen um, birds and insects. I haven't seen any other um, 
haven't seen any alligators unfortunately. I was hoping to show you guys one. Hopefully next time. It's very peaceful. Today's hot, but not so hot because it's overcast luckily. If it wasn't overcast, it'd be a lot warmer out here, I gotta say that. I say some I see some things like almost poking out out of the water. That might be turtles. But I don't really see enough of them to be certain. Still walking here in the boardwalk. Tennis Park would be a nice place to come and have like a picnic. Some of the guy jumped out of the water over there. It's probably fishing there, I bet. I don't know, unless someone's throwing something in there. If there wasn't people over there, I bet people's throwing more like rocks or something. Show you a little bit, show me how I'm walking here. Yeah, I'm happy I stopped today, but I tell you, after not going out of the house much for the last month or so, I'm definitely beat after doing all this exercise, all this walking around. That's good to get out. And I had to get mom out too. She's been stuck at home a lot because all this was going on with this coronavirus. Hope everyone's doing okay with that. I'm trying to take as much precautions as possible. There's a little little lizard. Almost stepped on him. But uh it's gotta be careful as much as you can. Well it looks like this branch is off into two ways. Just to let you know. So it's like that takes you back to the parking lot. And there's that section over there. You definitely have options. Of course this takes you back that way where I came. I may uh see where I'm gonna go, but I'll let you guys see it. Yeah, just like I thought this had to a little dead end. So you could um whoops, this is sign you see too steady. They so uh, overlook the pond on. So that'd be a good place to look for alligators if there's any in there, which I'm sure there is. Definitely a few more cars since we got here. And you see that pink stuff down there? It'll look pink to you, but someone told me those were like snail eggs. I've shown them on my channel before. Oh, there's some nice ducks over there. Show you zoom in on it. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? He's there. There he is. Okay, I can't zoom in too much. Whoa. These are growing off this tree. I'm not sure exactly what they are. Pretty cool looking though. Oh, I think that bird's not too happy. There's a whole little flock of them now. Are they fighting or recording? Oh, They're really going at it, aren't they? Get 
can see it now. And look, there's a couple baby ones there. Where is it? I heard someone say they just saw a turtle in there. Yeah, those are some little baby birds are the ones that were kind of fighting. Oh, they're not happy. Look at those, aren't they adorable? Alright, where is it? There they are. They seem to be hanging around with that one right there. Oh, they dive under the water because that big one came at it. And the little one dived under the water, hasn't come up yet. There he goes. He's peered up over there. So they've been swimming underwater. Well, that one's not being too nice. That one that's chasing the other one. Not being too nice to those other ones. I bet you that one there is the mama to those two little ones. So they're all gone. those are going on shore. There's a little bit of excitement. That one there. That one's a bully. You're a big bully, aren't you, to all the other birds? Okay, a little bit of excitement. See, there goes the mama. There are two little babies. I've seen those kind of birds before, I forget what they're called, but they're very pretty. They have that red on the top of their head. Okay. A little bit of excitement. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is Mother's Day, this ain't Easter. But there's a little bunny right there. Aren't you adorable, aren't you, big guy? Looks like someone just lost their balloon. Oh, that must have scared the bunny away. Something's moving around in that there. In those bushes. We're heading back soon to the car. Like I said, I only explored part of this nature park. I did a lot more than what I filmed, but um, I didn't film everything. But if I eventually... Maybe. But, um, I'll do more of these videos of some of these different parks. I may come back here and film some more, I don't know. Just gotta see. I know it's in the way out there is this memorial stone. The Richard L. Cole Memorial. As a conver uh, conservationist, signed and sportsman, Richard, R. Richard L. Coleman. 1944-2003 was an effective and enthusiastic champion for the environment. Locally, he worked on water quality issues affecting the chain of lakes and served the Seas Lakes Advisory Committee for 17 years. He advocated the acquisition and creation of the South Lake Howard Nature Park. On his day level, he worked tirelessly for the restoration of the Kissimmee River, the management of mine, phosphate lands, and protection of the Green Swamp. Richard's quick smile, booming voice, and fearless dedication to the protection of natural flora will not be forgotten. If you're willing to go to the outdoors, you'll work to protect it. That's what he used to say. Day gay by the Winter Haven City Commission, October 13, 2003. There's a little memorial stone for him. I'm glad he came this way. Like I said, I only did part of this park. I may come back and do more of this park if there's interest in it. If not, I'll um, try filming some others. And over here, like I said, there's some picnic tables. They have it wrapped around to keep probably alligators from getting over there. But they have more of these nature signs that I always like looking at. It might have been the one I saw fighting, I'm not sure. The common moorhen, that might be that one. Oh, no, no. Maybe that one, the purple... 
Oh, same thing. Gillenol, maybe? Let's see the red in there. And then that must have been the kind of rabbit I saw, the marsh rabbit. These basically shows you some of the different um, animals you can see around here. Let's see, you see like the round-tailed muskrat, the bandit water snake, alligator, different kinds of fish, some of the different birds. Of course, different insects. Here's one over here. The only thing with these, these have a tendency to fade sometimes pretty badly after, like this one is. This one shows all the different plants. Some more people came here, so probably getting a little later in the day, so you see more. Pretty cool. Okay, right. a little interesting. See the sign says motorized boats prohibited. But look here. So I wonder if one time they used to allow boats in there, but they don't anymore, and they stopped it. So why else would they have this where you can easily pull a boat up? And it slopes down into there. I bet you at one time they did allow boats to go in there. Back in the day, there's another pier you can get on. Well, that's it. A quick little tour of this park. Like I said, I didn't do the whole thing. Um, if, if there's enough interest in it, maybe I'll come back and finish the rest of it. I don't know. I definitely want to check out more of these. But it's a nice park. And I like that, that all the paths are paved, so it's not too much up and down and all that. I, like I said, there's part of the park is behind me across that street. Then when I was over down at the other section, it crossed another street, and there was another section over there. So this place is definitely a bit bigger than I anticipated. Here I am where I started out, but in front of the sign. Hope you enjoyed this little quick video. This thought I would do because I'm going out, getting some nice fresh air, and it's a nice day. And hopefully um, things keep improving, getting better with all this with that virus going around. Normally I wear a mask, but because there's hardly anyone here, and I really interact with anyone I didn't. If not, if there's a lot of people here, I would have been wearing the mask, definitely. But there's enough air and space between everyone. I'm not too worried about that here. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And please share on my channel. If you do, you won't regret it. Because I think you'll want to subscribe because I have a lot of cool stuff. And I think you'll like it. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.